today's news. Preliminary hearing on Bakhtiar Hadjiev's case. Arrested opposition representatives file appeal. Enola Fatulayev's hearing postponed again. No progress in investigation of journalists' assault. Today, the Ganja City Nizami District Court heard the preliminary hearing on the case of Bakhtiar Hadjiev, the youth activist charged with evading military service. Judge Amin Akundov presided over the hearing. Bakhtiar Hadjiev's brother, Vuga, reported to OTV. He said that Bakhtiar's lawyer had filed a motion for his release for the duration of the hearing in order to allow him to sit with his lawyers on the grounds that he does not pose any danger to the public. The judge granted the motion. Then the lawyers filed a motion to throw out the criminal case against Bakhtiar Hadjiev. In addition, the lawyer sent an inquiry to the Constitutional Court asking them to define the nature of alternative, i.e. non-military, service as set out by the Azerbaijani Constitution. The judge considered neither of these motions and the pre preliminary hearing will continue tomorrow. Hadjiev, a parliamentary candidate in the November 2010 parliamentary elections, was first detained on November 17, 2010, when he tried to cross into Georgia via the Gazak region's Gizemi Kurpu checkpoint. He was traveling to Georgia to continue his education. That time, Hadjiev was released after 24 hours as he still had immunity as a parliamentary candidate. At present, he is facing criminal charges under Article 321 of the Criminal Code for the evasion of military service. It is widely thought that Hadjiev has been arrested for his activity on social networking sites and his support of the March 11th Great People's Day campaign. An appeal was filed in Sabil District Court against the ruling that sentenced Musavat Party Youth Organization Chairman Taral Abbasla, APFP member Mahamad Le Majid Lee, Musavat Party Central Executive Administration Chairman Arif Hajili, to two months of pretrial detention for criminal liability at the April 2nd protest. Taral Abbasla's lawyer, Anar Gassimov, reported this information to Objective TV. According to Anar Gassimov, the assistant of the Baku City Prosecutor met with Taral Abbasla in the Yasmal District Police Department on April 6th. The lawyer said that he filed an appeal in the Sabayal District Court regarding the police assault of Taral Abbasla that took place at the police department during the pretrial detention. The Sabayal District Court sent the appeal to the Baku City Prosecutor Office. The assistant to the prosecutor, Jehun Abbasov, met with Taral in the interrogation room. It means that the investigation has already begun. A criminal case on Taral's assault will begin. We presented Taral's photos as evidence, added the attorney. Today, the Sabil District Court postponed the preliminary hearing on imprisoned journalist Enula Fatulayev's lawsuit against Azerbaijan Republic General Prosecutor Zakir Garalov for violating his right to be presumed innocent. Fatulayev's lawyer, Anar Gassimov, told Objective TV that the preliminary hearing was postponed because Fatulayev had not been brought to the hearing. Judge Elnur Hassanov rescheduled the hearing for April 14th. The European Court of Human Rights and the Supreme Court Plenum have decreed that the general prosecutor violated Fatulayev's right to the presumption of his innocence during the investigation of terrorism charges against him. He turned public opinion against Fatulayev, who has said that he interprets the general prosecutor's attitude as a reflection of the Republic Prosecutor's Office, which implemented the investigation and was responsible for the alleged violation of the right to the presumption of innocence. The investigation of Azad Look newspaper employee Seymour Hadziev's kidnapping has not uncovered any new information, Hadziev told Objective TV today. Hadziev was kidnapped and beaten up on March 25th at night in the Duran Bataan area of the Absheron on his way home from work. A black bag was put on his head and he was taken to an unknown location where he was beaten. His assailants abandoned him on a street in Binagadi. According to him, a criminal case has been opened to investigate his kidnapping and abduction, but he has not been updated on the police progress. Another Azad Look newspaper employee, Ramin Deko, was also the target of a kidnapping and assault. He told Objective TV that he had undergone a medical examination at Hospital No. 1 to assess the after effects of the attack. Doctors found abrasions on his forehead and bruising. Both the journalists have said that the incidents are related to their professional work.